Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Airsoft Gaming, and today I've got another huge $2,000 unboxing for you guys. Now this goes along with my other $3,000 unboxing video. I purchased everything here for $350. Keep that in mind. So, with that, um, the total value of this is over $2,000 brand new, but we'll get into it. I'm going to go into the boring package first because that has all the guns in it so we'll just go do this box okay so i ordered a lot of stuff and i have no i it's almost impossible that he was able to package it in this small of uh space but we will see i do have a checklist detailing everything that should be included in here from the pictures but it's kind of hard to when you're buying so much of it so we've got some great quality tape jesus christ it's like velcro almost Okay, so that's the best as I'm gonna get it. Uh, <laughs> they put some aircraft grade duct tape or Velcro some shit on there. Okay, so well, I guess we'll just start into it. Here we have uh, presumably a GNG uh, crane stock. Cool, whatever. Uh, here we've got a retractable bipod that is wet. It's moist. Some more wet electronics. Hopefully this works. If not, um, the packaging was actually wet, so that's going to be on FedEx. This is a LiPo charger uh, for 7.4 and 11.1, so that's pretty cool. I have one anyways, but whatever. Uh, here we actually have a, a brand new Redline SFR regulator. This is, like, quite literally brand new. I bet it still even has the factory grease, I mean. So this, this just came out. Um, in 2016, like mid to late 2016, I think. And this is currently what I use, so that's pretty cool. Uh, might be foreshadowing some other stuff later. Again, we've got a HPA hose here. I think this is three feet, dual disconnect. A HPA quick fitting adapter. I've got so many of these now. Uh, let's see what else here. This wasn't even, I, this wasn't pictured. I've camouflage vest for two-year-old I've I don't know uh, that's okay um, another something that wasn't pictured oh we got a matching pair here is does this say anything no no idea okay well whatever um, standard NC star black vest I'll probably donate that to my field um, okay. Sling? Maybe? Yeah, that's low quality sling. Um, okay, so here we've got a plate carrier. Um, yeah, this is the plate carrier. It's got pouches, uh, admin pouch. This thing, which is for the HPA tank big carabiner and a dump pouch on the back. I have no idea what brand this is. Maybe it's Condor or something. I would I would guess that it's Condor. Uh, we got some gloves. We've got a... Okay, I got a lot of flack for calling this a Taliban suit. Uh, it's not a Taliban suit. This is a... Uh, how, how a Middle Eastern dress. There we go. For your face. Moving on, we got one glove. Sure, we'll find the other wear somewhere. The other one. Um, what size is this? Can I wear this? Oh, it's a large. Awesome. Yeah, I can wear this. Cool. Um, this is. Mm, Marpan? This is a child's large, though. Oh, there's no way I'm fitting into this thing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. This is a Build a Bear. This is a Build a Bear outfit. So, anyways, I'll be reselling that. Um, oh, look at these pants. God, I must have bought this from the six-year-old. Look at this. I mean, this is a size XL, really? 28 to 32. Okay, well, and this is Build-A-Bear pants. These are 
So I got a Build-A-Bear outfit. That's cool. Um, we got some nice revision. No, these aren't revisions. These are. This is a clone of a revision. Dude, revisions are only twenty bucks. Why would you make a clone of something that was only twenty bucks? Regardless, uh, there they are. Another glove. Uh, knee pad. Cool. Allen key. Awesome. Totally don't have all of those. Another knee pad. A pistol holster. This is actually something I'll probably end up using. Uh, lower face mask. Lenses for the fake revisions. Um, case for the lenses for the fake re revision. Carrying bag candy. Candy carrying bag carrying bag. And a helmet that might fit me, probably not, with the, it's not Marpat, whatever. It's uh, some military camo for the United States Marine Corps. Okay, so this helmet actually fits me. It's pretty comfortable, not bad. Definitely a clone of uh, something, but it's got all the retention straps and everything. So, toss that off to the side here. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that should have been in there that I didn't get, but we're going to move on to this, because maybe it's in here. There should be three rifles in here. There was a pistol, and then there wasn't, so no pistol, but we will see. I guess we'll get into the two rifles that are here. We've got a big high cap magazine. This should be... This is a 9.6. Another 9.6. The fuck is 7.4 700 million? Oh, cool. This is for uh, Polar Star. It's got the JST connector. And another one. And another one. And this is a 8.4. And another 8.4. Okay, more magazines. Cool. Cool. I'm not even sure those are in a shot. Cool, there we go. Three of these. What, these are like Echo 1? I don't know, but they're the 500 round rounders. Uh, here's the butt plate for the stock that was uh, supposed to go in here. Um, let's just go through the accessories. Scope. It's a really bad quality scope. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a scope. It's, it's only got two hairs. Try to put that through the camera. Nope. It's only got... It's only got two hairs. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a joke of a joke of a scope. This is for HPA tanks. If you have a air tank, you can put that on it and take air from that. For a scuba tank, sorry. So, that's pretty cool. Never, I've never had one. I guess I do now. I have no idea what they're worth. Probably, like, not much. Pop-up chamber. Seems pretty complete. Uh, inner barrel. I'm not even gonna bother to move this stuff out of the way. A laser that probably doesn't work. Or doesn't have batteries. One of the two. Um, okay, there's some, there's some parts over there. I'm not gonna get to them. Oh, a hop-up bucking. Cool. Uh, some other stuff to the to the rifle bodies, like pins and whatnot. Okay, so this is this is uh, what is what is this? This is a. Uh, there's no markings on anything. Does it work though? We're gonna find that out. It has, it has a MOSFET, and it looks like the gearbox custom, so, I don't know, but we'll test it out here. Hold on, let me move the camera. I apologize for that crappy angle you guys have been seeing. Plug this in here. It probably doesn't work. And it works, wow. Oh, oh. Okay, so it works, whatever. I'm still going to do tech work on it. See what's inside of it because it seems like there could be quite a bit of upgrades in this. I mean, you look, that's not a standard 
That's a nice standard cylinder, and the hop-up's even upgraded, so... Uh, we'll see. It's got a nice aluminum rail system. It looks like a Daniel Defense or something. Probably not. Some type of knockoff. And it's got some type of banana. I'm not sure what. And other than that, uh, thing's pretty much in pieces. But, I mean, it works, so whatever. This is the Polar Star. And... I mean, that's a, that's a Polar Star, all right. Uh, it's got the little thingy here. I'm going to take the upper and lower off. Okay, there it is. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay, that's where I draw the line. You say this has a Polar Star in it, and you give me a Falcon B12? What is this garbage? I've never even seen one of these things. This is a troll on the utmost level. This is, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh man, he's not gonna hear the end of this one. Wow, a Valken V12. You know, I'd, I'm done, that's it, it's over. Okay, so aside from that, uh, well, whatever. I mean, I paid 350 bucks for all the stuff I got, so even if I don't get the rest of it, I don't give a shit because this is still quite a bit of uh, money. I mean, I got a full HPA system, uh, some type of custom AEG, a Balkan V12, and HPA, and it's not a fucking Polar Star, but you know, whatever. This is, I swear to God, this has got to be a, a GNG or something. This is actually a plastic key mod. I've never seen a plastic key mod rail. I do like the looks of it though, I gotta say. I am I am digging it. So Oh, is this classic army? Okay, never mind. It's a classic army. Interesting. Uh, I wonder what the FCU looks like. Tis a shame. Okay, well, uh, anyways, I should have gotten an AK with this. He told me the pistol wasn't gonna be here. And I'm gonna go through the rest of my checklist. But uh anyways, so for review, we've got a polar not polar star, a um Valken V12 engine with a classic army body and some type of custom monstrosity with upgraded internals and a MOSFET and a bunch of other stuff. Magazines, batteries, Ninja Air thing, uh, bipod accessories, regulator, uh, uniform, helmet, goggles, a bunch of other gear. So, uh, overall, this was not bad at all for 350 bucks. Uh, I thought my return was going to be a lot more with us. Definitely going to contact him. I, I knew it was literally impossible for him to fit all of that shit into a crappy box and a rifle case. I'm very surprised nothing broke in the rifle case, though. I'm, I'm astonished that nothing broke uh, in the rifle case. But... Beyond that, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Wolfhair Self Gaming. Thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. And hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you want to see another huge unboxing, check out my $3,000 unboxing video. Uh, there's probably at least twice as much stuff that it was in this one. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.